Loved it. Um, I went to Broken Hill though, and something was awry. <laughs> Realised there was no metal detectors at the airport. No metal detectors. I was like, oh my God, what kind of terrorism could happen here? No metal detectors. And then I got on the plane, realised the plane wasn't that big. I'm like, oh, you can't do too much damage with this one. You know, you could probably take out a small part of Crown Casino. <laughs> you know, like that's all you could do. Like, so I was relieved. But then I thought, if you were a part of, if you were a part of a terrorist operation where you took out a small part of Crown Casino, and then you went back to you, a terrorist guy and you're like, hey man, I was part of the Crown Casino operation. He'd be like, who gives a shit? You killed eight dudes on a bucks party from Maitland. I, uh, you know, you should have taken out the food court while you were there. It was $28 for a spaghetti. He goes, you should talk to Barry over there. Barry, he knows how to do real terrorism. He knows how to blow up shit real bad. And then you look at Barry and you're like, he's like, I think they're onto me. And you're like, why is Barry whispering into his collar? And you go, nothing. And you go, what are you up to, Barry? And then Barry does this, he goes, ha ha! I was never a terrorist. I've been an inside man the whole time. <laughs> And you know in those gun scenes, how there's a guy that, that, that stands up for no reason at all and gets a shit shot out of him? Like, hey, what's going on here? <laughs> and, then, and then Barry puts on a jetpack and then he flies away, presses a button, and his terrorist base explodes. He's like, ha ha, terrorists, I win this time. Anyway, I was telling the pilot this. Uh, <laughs> I was like, you got no metal detectors, so you just got to determine who's the biggest weirdo on the plane. Uh, anyway, I had to walk from Broken Hill. Uh, they told the bus company as well. Uh, yeah.